happy morning welcome back to your very own youtube channel dr nikita's rat science and this is m3 with m3 morning motivation and mnemonic so the mnemonic part today would be biochemistry again related to the vitamins because that is what is at today's target for a revision and the motivation part is related to how we can change our destiny so like always i am going to read out to you from a book again one of my favorites and very inspiring and here it goes so it says that one of the main weaknesses of mankind is the average man's familiarity with the word impossible so if you see how familiar we are with the word impossible we think of some task and the first thing that comes to our mind is this is impossible for example if i tell you like when we were starting the revision program on the uh, telegram group so many students had this okay, this is it is impossible to cover cardiology medicine part in one day that is what was the target for one of the days but then if you see majority of the students completed the target in that one day so initially we think that it is impossible but when we stretch ourselves we can do everything remember that success comes to those who become success conscious so the author shares the story of henry ford which is very inspiring so it says when henry ford decided to produce his famous v8 motor he chose to build an engine with the entire eight cylinders cast in one block and instructed his engineers to produce a design for the engine the design was placed on paper but the engineers agreed to a man that it was simply impossible to cast an eight cylinder engine block in one piece ford said produce it anyway they replied but it's impossible ford commanded go ahead and stay on the job until you succeed no matter how much time is required the engineers went ahead there was nothing else for them to do if they were to remain on the ford staff 6 months went by nothing happened another 6 months passed and still nothing happened the engineers tried every conceivable plan to carry out the orders but the thing seemed out of the question they thought it's impossible at the end of the year ford checked with the engineers and again they informed him they had found no way to carry out his orders ford said go right ahead i want it and i'll have it i repeat he said go right ahead i want it and i'll have it they went ahead and then as if by a stroke of magic the secret was discovered the ford determination had won once more so henry ford was a success because he understood and applied the principles of success one of these is desire knowing what one wants so remember this ford story and pick out the lines in which the secret of his stupendous achievement have been described if you can do this if you can lay your finger on the particular group of principles which made henry ford rich you can equal his achievements in almost any calling for which you are suited so henry ford who had only little schooling without a dollar with no influential friends rose to great heights rather on the contrary if we look at ourselves we are so blessed with everything uh like example if we are preparing for aims neat pg we have the best resources the best coaching we have the best family we have the supportive parents we have so much of support circle we are so blessed all we have to do is sit at one place study give our 100% and crack the exam so all you have to do is just keep it telling to yourself i want it and i'll have it and with a stroke of magic you'll see that how you achieve that thing the only thing is that 
you should have first of all a burning desire not only desire but a burning desire of what you want second you have to be very specific in what you want basically what rank do you want what branch do you want which college do you want so until and unless you are very specific in your goal and you are passionate enough to follow that success is difficult then everything looks impossible otherwise everything is possible so remember whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve so this is the crux of our today's motivation whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe it can definitely achieve so conceive in your mind what do you want and start believing as if you have already achieved it and definitely you will achieve it this principle has made wonders in my life and i'm sure it will do so in your life as well so that was about the motivation part now coming to the mnemonic part so as i said the today's mnemonic would be related to vitamins so here it is so the question is burning feet syndrome is seen in deficiency of which vitamin is it b6 is it b3 b5 or b1 now burning feet so in the feet in the legs we wear pants so burning feet is seen in deficiency of pantothenic acid pant is feet now pento means five so it is b5 so burning feet is pants pantothenic acid and it is vitamin b5 like this there are many cheat codes which i have shared in my sessions on an academy and also on my youtube channel I have shared those links in the description and also on my telegram group. Make sure you take benefit of all those sessions and cheat codes and mnemonics and crack biochemistry. So that's all for today. That was M3 with N3. I'll see you in my next one. Keep studying, keep revising and keep winning.